Hey everyone, Kevin from MechanicalAdvantage.com again. I thought I would continue this series. So far, what we've done is we've set custom view orientations between the uh, that differ between the, the model workspace and the cam workspace. And then we went through and covered our different options for orienting the WCS on our part. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is where we're going to locate the WCS on our design. Um, we have some different options for that. So as you can see, I have my Z, Y, X facing the directions that I want to go. And now I want to talk about the origin options. So by default, it's going to choose stock box point. And what that means is this translucent yellow um, box that's around my part, that represents the stock that we're going to cut this part out of. And each one of these edges and faces is segmented into three and in, into thirds, I guess. And um, you can choose any one of these points to locate your origin, your WCS. So for instance, if I wanted to put my WCS up in the top right hand corner, I just go ahead and click on that point. If I want it in the top left hand, I click on that point. If I want it centered on the top face, I click on that point. So wherever you want to put your WCS, you just click on that point and it's added there. Um, so where do you want to put your WCS? That's a company preference. Um, you know, some people use the fixed face of the vice jaw. It's just all about where you want to locate it. It doesn't necessarily matter. It's more personal preference. So the next option I want to talk about is the model origin. If I select that, it looks at where the origin of this model is and automatically moves the WCS to that point. So when I drew this point, I drew a rectangle centered around the origin. Um, I extruded up and you can see that I went and grabbed that origin point just as I drew it. Another option you have is to select a model box point. And if I look at it straight on, you can see that these points are slightly offset. So it's recognizing um, the bounding box of the, of the actual part. I'll go back to an isometric view. So you can see it's recognizing the bounding box of the, of the part. And again, as I click on different points, it's going to move around. Um, no, I have a sketch line in here. Notice how even though my mouse is close, it, it won't let me select that because that's not a model point. That's just a sketch point. Uh, so that brings us to our next option, which is a selected point. So with a selected point, you can select on any, any feature. It could be the end of a line. It could be a point. Um, we'll grab a different point. So it flipped my, we'll just flick, we'll just fix that. Uh, it could be a feature. So we could grab a click on that circle. Now it's going to put that in the center of that. Um, circle. So you can see as you click around in different things, and in this case I even have a sketch on here so I could come in, I'll clear this edge off. I could even come and click on this edge point. And at the end, end of that sketch line it adds my, it, it locates my WCS right there. So those are some of the options that you have for locating your WCS on your part after you set the orientation.